The community's Minister of Health plans to administer 215,000 doses of Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca vaccines next week. Most of the doses will go to people born between 1942 and 46. That's about 107,000 doses of Pfizer. And between 56 and 58, 70,000 doses of AstraZeneca. Another 17,000 doses, in this case of Moderna, will go to people who are in the vulnerable category. The Ministry continues to warn people that they should not go to a vaccination centre unless they are called to do so. Meanwhile, the Miguel Hernandez University of Elche estimates that the number of active cases in the province will increase by 33% during the coming week after the rate experienced a 37% drop in the last fortnight. Currently, the number of active COVID cases, according to government data, stands at 32.41 per 100,000 in the province of Alicante. That's the lowest across the whole of Spain. On page three, we feature the news that the Orihuela Council, at long last, has said that it is actively seeking a plot of land on the coast on which to build a cemetery, something that local residents have been demanding for years. We have details of the Hernandian Spring, a programme of exhibitions, concerts, poetry recitals and book presentations that are being held in commemoration of the anniversary of the city's most famous son, the poet Miguel Hernandez. And once again, a number of articles discussing the ongoing confusion currently being experienced by travellers following the UK's departure from the European Union. Sport features heavily. We have articles on golf, Saturday's Grand National, the weekend's football and the revival of San Luis Bowls Club that is now looking forward to a much more secure future following the takeover of the club and the Casa Ventura facility by the team from Casas España. All this and much, much more. So don't forget to pick up your copy of the Leader newspaper from Monday morning for one of our over 300 drop-off points and outlets.